Hello world, I have previously posted a few videos related to MSP430 Launchpad and I'm planning to do some more projects related to this as I've seen that many of you have found them helpful. So in today's video we learn how to use the MSP430 G2553 microcontroller's internal temperature sensor. As the sensor is already inside, there isn't any hardware design really. But uh, we'll have to configure the register values properly to use this temperature sensor. So let's just see the software flowchart quickly for that. So first of all, we start. We don't need the watchdog timer, so we simply stop it. We have to configure the ADC 10 registers. And these are nothing but ADC 10 CTL 0 and CTL 1 registers. I've covered in depth of how we go about doing the same as well. So just uh, assume that right now we simply have to configure them. Let's see that how we do that in detail a little later. Then we select conversion mode through these um, registers and the conversion mode so there are four conversion modes available we are using the most uh, simple one the basic one single conversion mode in this case and uh, we also select the input channel using these registers so we are going to select the temperature sensor related channel then we also enable the uh, adc interrupt and we turn the adc on then we instruct it to enable and start the conversion and within the program then we enter into the low power mode zero and keep all the interrupts enabled so what happens in the background in the adc is that when a conversion is triggered using your enable and start the conversion the voltage at the selected input channel that is in this case the temperature channel is sampled this voltage is converted into a digital value that's what an adc usually does and that value gets written into your adc 10 mem register so the moment you enable this um, interrupt, the ADC then, after the value is written into the ADC 10 mem register, interrupts uh, your controller and you go to the ISR basically after that. And within the ISR, we are not doing anything except for disabling the low power mode. And all the calculations and everything should be kept in the main program. You should not uh, put anything much in ISR and uh, simply fetch the temperature value from adc 10 mem register because this won't be in degree celsius we'll have to convert it into degree celsius and then that's it stop the thing so this is how the flow chart is now let's see how to configure the adc 10 ctl1 and ctl0 registers so first of all there is this bit called as sref bit it has got four values we select one um, so 0 by default gives you a VCC as your VR plus we want we don't want to use 3.3 volts we want to use either 1.5 or 2.5 so that's the VREF plus voltage and VR minus in this case will be 0 so we are selecting the SREF bit as 1 for this particular purpose now the default VREF plus is always 1.5 and that's what we intend to use so we simply have to then just set the ref bit which will turn on the reference generator for us then after that you have to select the sample and hold time using the same register right now just remember that we are selecting it as 64 cycles why we are doing that will become clear when we discuss the ADC 10 CTL 1 register um, right now just remember 64 cycles for this you also enable the interrupt using the same register. Now all these four steps, you can combine them together and uh, set all the particular values in of this register together. But enabling and starting of the conversion only happens when you've configured all the ADC registers. So for that, you make a separate uh, call. I mean, you write, you write that particular line separately because you can't do enabling on starting of the conversion before you've set obviously all the registers properly. So that will happen separately. Rest four steps can happen together. Then how to configure the ADC. So what bits do we configure for ADC 10 CTL1 in this case is the input channel. First is that. So the input channel is um, selected as 10 in this case. So which corresponds to your temperature sensor. Nothing much to explain. Then the default clock. Um, which is there is ADC 10 oscillator clock, which has maximum frequency of 6.3 megahertz. You can select a variety of clocks. I think four clocks are available. You can select it using the ADC 10 cell S cell bit. And in this case, we are going to keep it default, which is the oscillator clock, which is 6.3 megahertz, which gives us um, timing of 0.16 microseconds. 
but according to the data sheet uh, the t sample time for our temperature sensor should be greater than 30 microseconds so obviously 0.16 is nowhere near to that so what we rather do is we have to slow down the clock so we divide this particular frequency by 4 which gives us 1.575 microhertz or 0 0.6 to 5 microseconds again nowhere near to 30 microseconds so if you remember from the previous register 64 cycles were considered for your sample and hold time so we simply multiply 0 0.625 with your 64 and then we get approximately 40 microseconds which is obviously way greater than 30 microseconds so then we are sorted with the sampling time and uh, this is how we configure these two registers in our case and there are several other registers as well but we are not using any of those so depending upon what type of customization you want depending upon your obviously requirements uh, of your project you can se uh, set the bit of any of these registers according to um, uh, the explanation given in the data sheet and uh, if you want to know more about the theory of SAR register, then I'll be covering um, SAR ADC, then I'll be covering that uh, in an upcoming video. So subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated. Now moving on with this, there's also another thing that we have to do is converting the ADC value to temperature. Now for that, uh, we've been given one formula in the data sheet, which uh, relates our voltage with the temperature. So what we really need is the temperature value and not the voltage value. So we simply reshuffle the terms and we get the temperature value to be so and so, which we call as equation one for now, because in this equation, we have to substitute the voltage value, which we don't really have. So, but there's another equation which is given in the data sheet, which um, is between your ADC value and your uh, voltage values, which is this. And... Um, in this case, the VR minus that we are taking is VSS is nothing but zero as we had seen in ADC 10 CTL zero register and VR plus is nothing but 1.5 volts. So we simply substitute these two values and then we have this particular value here. N is nothing but the ADC value. Now, obviously we are not requiring the ADC value. Instead, we want the V in value, which is the voltage value. So we can reshuffle the terms again. So we sub simply substitute this voltage value in equation one, which gives us something like this. And uh, this is the basic equation with using which you can get your uh, temperature value from your ADC value. But obviously this is floating point and it is slow and it requires more flash. Therefore we'll use integer math. And for that, what we do is we multiply and divide by two raised to 16. And that's what you get. Now in programming, using right shift, you can um, substitute, I mean, instead of doing division, you can do right shift. Instead of doing multiplication, you can do left shift. So you convert your high word to low word using this. And because we are using integer math, rounding becomes essential. So for that, we add the numerator by um, uh, 2 raised to 15. So we add this particular value to the numerator to improve the rounding which is nothing but half of 2 raised to 16. And thus we get our value in degree Celsius. So this is all about the, I think the explanation that we need for this particular program. Now you can check the blog link in the description uh, below to access the code. But uh, so that's the blog link wherein I post most of the code and stuff, which I don't usually cover in the videos. So you can check that. But before we do that, let's just see the code in action and let's check the temperature. So we debug it. Then I have added temperature expression using add new expression in the um, watch list and you can put bullet points wherever you think they are essential and this is very small code so we can just step into each of the lines and we can debug it so you can see that the loading is done So the moment you step into it, obviously there is this low power mode, which is set. And afterwards, when the interrupt gets triggered, you enter the ISR as we had discussed. And then 
once you come out of it you fetch the value of adc 10 mem and uh, let's see what's the value so it is 747 which should be i think 31 degrees celsius so when we convert it into degree celsius let's yeah that's 31 so that's how your entire code works and if you want to see the value in lcd then i'll be covering that in another video so um again subscribe to the channel if you want to see that as well and if you want to stay updated otherwise with the type of content that i post mostly more of msp430 projects will be coming up and uh, yeah like the video if you found it helpful and share it with others and um, until next time bye world